So, I always wanted to make this type of flower looking things, but didn't know the way how to. Until I came across this tutorial by Addy on YouTube, which uses this add-on by Inca, named Differential Growth which allows us to make these types of models easily. I will put the link to this add-on and the links to the original tutorial videos in the description. Installing is simple. Once you click on the add-on link, go into Assets and download this file. Extract it once. Then go into Blender, Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and install and search for the add-on. Then search for it and enable it. Once all is done, let's begin working. Add a mesh circle with vertices of 8. Go into Edit Mode. Select edges with Ctrl E press S and O to fill the empty space. Go into Wireframe. Select all from center. Press M and merge in center. Then select all outer edges with Shift Alt left mouse click and extrude the edges in Z axis and scale it up a bit. Then having selected the vertex you want to modify, go to Vertex tab and create a new vertex group and assign. Now go back into Object Mode and in Object tab scroll down to find Differential Growth. Having default settings on, click Diff Growth Step for some time. Don't get carried away doing this because this will increase the subdivisions and your system can crash. Play with these values and click on it for some time. Repeat one more time. Now save the file once you are satisfied with this. You can start working on this if your system allows you to, or if it crashes you can export the model in OBJ and import it again. You can delete the old model now. Add a solidify modifier of 0.05 thickness. And if you are brave, add a subdivision surface. Let's set up the backdrop. We will use cycles for this. Let's have a camera of 100 millimeters to have the close-up shot. Setting up basic light setup. Follow me as I make the material for this.
you can play with different colors and render some variations. Hope this was of help to you. This is CG Professor, see you in another video.